Uh, uh we're going to talk about the deal. Uh, Kyrie Irving goes, gets traded to the Dallas Mavericks from the Brooklyn Nets. In the trade, the Dallas Mavericks received Kyrie Irving and Markeith Morris. The Brooklyn Nets got Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, and they got three draft picks. One two thousand sucks as own <laughs> one two thousand twenty seven second round pick and a and two two thousand twenty nine uh draft picks one in the first round that's uh unprotected and and the other is the second round pick. So uh we text some knee jerk reactions in the group chat when this had happened. Uh, my first thing so I was just like, dang, like that just feels weird, like Kyrie going to Dallas. Uh, obviously, we gave you, uh, we heckled you a bit, Darnell, but uh, for the sake of us not, not communicating via text, you said, I like it, gives off LeBron and Kyrie vibes heavy. I know you have a very opposite way of looking at things compared to the rest of the world. So the floor is yours as to, do you still stand on that? Was it, uh, obviously it was a knee jerk reaction. Do you still feel that way, but maybe not a Kyrie, Kyrie Irving and LeBron type situation? How do you how do you feel as, as since time has passed about the about Kyrie Irving going to the Dallas Mavericks with Luka Doncic? Uh, first and foremost, I want to give the respect to the honorable LeBron James. I don't mean it in a certain sense of greatness. I mean a certain sense of more strictly offensive deliver, like like that 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 uh firepower. Because on the defensive end, who is Luca? He is absent. You really don't hear much about it. He may get a steal or two, but he's nothing to worry about as far as a lockup. That you can count on with LeBron. Mm -hmm. Real, real mm -hmm. qu quick interjection. Uh, Luca is stated. Me. Huh? You with your game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be noted, LeBron's favorite player noted on record is Luca. That, but that I just want to add add that to your. Uh, he's just being nice. But no, absolutely though. Like it's just it was more of like a because I didn't think nothing of defense, and then when y'all said it, I think they more being more dramatic of like the LeBron as a whole. I was thinking more as a offensive power, you know. And also, I think about it too. Like I think you may be able to see Luca give a little bit more on defense because when you're the number one person to score, you're the you're the primary source of scoring. You can't sacrifice. You can't put yourself in foul foul trouble, you know, on a defensive end. You know, whether you're good or not, you don't have the opportunity to build on that. You know, this may not be long term. Who knows? Most likely not. You know, I definitely do feel the L.A. vibes are coming soon with Kyrie. But I think at this moment, it gives a, a few it. it gives a few it gives a few opportunities to like give Luca just a little bit more chance to be more all around. Like I said, it's not worth risking when this is that that offensive talent is crazy and he's getting triple doubles, breathing those in and out, getting sixty, twenty, and ten, and all these kind of numbers. So I like it from the perspective of. Doncic being able to grow a little bit more. Kyrie has somebody he he can you. depend on. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I like it. I mean, like I said, I I see the I see the difficulty in it too, but I like it. I mean, hell, he he carried he carried the team by himself to the to the Western Conference fight to the finals. I yeah, mean, look, Kyrie being the help. It just, I'm just saying, like. Okay, he's not LeBron. I just need, yeah, I just need you to clear that up. <laughs> well, I've been saying that. I didn't, that. Like I didn't I said, see that in text like, message, but when he just said that, I was like, he didn't say that in text message. No, he didn't. Yeah, bro, <laughs> not to the level, like I said, like I cleaned up earlier, Where not you to going the level with of his you? overall greatness. It's more of like a, <laughs> I know, right, Drewski. Just more of the offensive <laughs> firepower. We, no, no. That's I what I was saying. But that's me, all. honestly, no, no. Um, I ask, my, I ask myself, does this get them in the Western Conference Finals up against the Warriors over the Clippers and all of the other teams, right? Well, well they was in it a couple years ago. Last who? year. Last year, excuse me. Who was in it a couple of, who was in it last year? What's the Conference Dallas. Finals? Dallas. Dallas. Who did they have? Nobody. Luca. <laughs> <Luka>. <laughs> <laughs> Luca Brazzi, that's it. Not even Christian Wood, just Luca. Yeah, so we ain't going for the finals no more, baby. We trying to go all the way. I, 
Uh, I don't know, man. I don't. I think with a healthy Kawhi and a healthy Paul George, they don't make it to the finals. Cap. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. You that saw what Luca did to the Clippers yet. multiple years in a row. Not just one outlier year in 2020. He came back 2021. Did it again. And the thing about that, right? So, uh, I, adding to that conversation is. But prior to having Kyrie, though he completely, it's to a degree disrespectful because we just had the conversations like, who did Luca have? It was just Luca, like Jalen Bronson, like carried the toll last year with Luca being injured until he got back, you know, where he needed to be. So I think Jalen Bronson is a respectful help for Luca uh, last year in the playoffs. Um. Yeah, but this season, prior to the Kyrie Irving move, I feel like the playoff strategy against the Dallas Mavericks potentially would have been, I want to say let Luka get his, but sometimes let Luka get his isn't just like Luka hitting you for 40. It may be 40, 10, and 10. And those 10 assists could generate, you know, some, you know, key baskets. Um, but but even if you say don't let Luka get his or we're going to focus all our energy on Luka and force somebody else to beat us, I mean, I still didn't think prior to Kyrie and still don't think with Kyrie um, – that they going to a championship or they gonna win the championship look great on paper. Um and not to cast any aspersions on Kyrie Irving, but as he goes from team to team to team, I feel like it just makes LeBron championship in Cleveland look that much sweeter because it's just like nobody else can crack the code of like Kyrie Irving. Uh, and the but obviously Kyrie was a lot younger too, so you know I guess Kyrie mm, he, he still as, is equally cold. Well, no, I'm talking about in terms of like off the court and like what he gets himself involved, like in maturity. I ain't talking about his game or nothing like that. Um, or argue argue better. But Mark, <laughs> but Mark Cuban is a player's owner, so that kind of helps too to a certain extent. That's what I'm looking at too. He can keep he can find a way to kind of keep Kyrie. You want to get paid? Kyrie. You want your money? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Just, he can protect oh, them, oh, oh, get paid. Because I'm like, he really so didn't care about his money. Seen. If he do care about his money like that, why not stay in Texas? No state tax. You can get to Man, enjoy thinking, the full fruit of your labor. If it didn't work out with KD, bro, I don't, I don't see it happening with Luke. He got to go back. Yeah, he got to go back to. He coming to LA in the offseason. So this is, he going he on his Kawhi tour right now. So enjoy why last Mark Cuban. You gave up somebody who y'all really wanted to give up anyway, and Dorian Finney. And then where y'all really wanted to move on from him. So y'all were just like, you know what? Hell, let's just try to parlay this for Kyrie. It don't work. We wanted to get rid of those guys anyway. Yeah, that boy's so, smart. I'm like, how how do you convince anybody to pick them two up for Kyrie? Well, I guess but I, I, picks in. Well, it was said that the uh, owner was adamant about not sending Kyrie where he wanted to go, one. And then, two, another offer that was said to be on the table was Chris Paul and Jay Crowder for the Phoenix mm-hmm. Suns. Um, but I question how that would have worked with Kyrie, D-Book needing his shots, as well as DeAndre Aiden. Um. And who's to say the uh the relationship with uh I forget the Phoenix Suns head coach. Anybody got it? No. Who's to say that relationship would have been good? Um, you know what I'm saying? So uh, money. No, money. No, no, yeah, yeah, money, 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 money yeah, money wins. Yeah, you think about money. the pel- Pelicans. Money uh, Christo sandwich. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh oh. quick question. How do we feel about Lucas props uh in this short two to three spurt uh break? Does he does he take a back seat to make sure Kyrie gets his feet wet and gets comfortable? Or does like Luke and Brian continue? Absolutely. 
You got to. 30 points, average 30 they both need to. They both need the ball. They have extremely high usage rate. So it's like, obviously, Kyrie is showing that he can play off a player like that. Who's a dominant scorer like LeBron, but who's also willing to be pass first, right? I don't know if Luka is pass first. Even though he can oh. make plays, players great, I don't know if he's looking to pass first. I think he's more so probably looking to get get his, but he know he knows he's a really good facilitator and can facilitate the offense. So it's, I think that's just a natural gift to him. But I think naturally he's looking double, to get out double just double like double. Kyrie. Has he ever played with a dog? No. Has Luca ever played with a dog? That's no. the thing that that makes me excited or even give that potential. Is like, yeah, Brunson's nice. I, I respect, but is he a dog? No, Kyrie's a dog. You mean like a and dog a dog? and a champion? Exactly. So I'm just looking at like, and Luca's. Come on, man! Like, he's giving these averaging nine assists a, a year and all this stuff with non-dog people. Like, he wants to give the ball away. He doesn't mind. Like, he's carrying this with a smile on his face. Half the wins. Like, so he's yeah, saying, like, oh, somebody else can play with me? Okay, bet. Spencer Dinwiddie, you're inconsistent. You're not You're not Kyrie, bro, at the end of the day. Like, you're a good player. You're nice, but you're not him. I felt like he could have, I thought he tried to do that with Spencer Dinwiddie and just did, he just couldn't, he couldn't Fiddle to the plate. Kyrie, it's a whole different it's a whole different ball game. I think they're gonna be literally having laugh laughing moments together, I feel like. I like this, man. I like it. I wanna like, so I do, I do fall back on the whole what LeBron. Was wrong comment, with the yeah. dynasty in Cleveland. Y'all could have did a whole dynasty in Cleveland, bro. What happened? Talk to me. So what happened? Something Ooh. must have happened. But this also be a good challenge. This would be a good chance for Luca to see if he can deal with an ego. KD can't deal with an ego. Can he deal with an ego? I, yeah. That's why I every player can. It's gonna happen. I don't know. I think he can. Because who's because who's really better offensively, Kyrie or Luca? Can you say who for real? No. I see a respectable challenge in some games. <laughs> You go for forty today. I go for forty today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, like I don't. I don't think. I don't. I think obviously, the any team who plays them is gonna be in for a long night because most teams only got one premier solid, and, and that's a stretch to say every team got one solid perimeter defender, which isn't the case truly. Mm-hmm. But like, you gonna have to pick your poison. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mentioned this too in the group chat. J. Kidd, Hall of Fame point guard, you know, ultimate floor general. Um, you know what I'm saying? So will it when I think about when Isaac says, you know, both of these are two high high usage players, when I think about how Luca plays and how the Dallas Mavericks have been playing, because Luca's like the only one who could generate an offense and they have to play through him. Point being because of his greatness. Then you think about a Kyrie Irving, is are we going to be able to see a fluid, cohesive offense? That you know, everybody I don't want to say everybody can touch it, but there's a flow and there's a rhythm and there's a cadence that they could catch, you know, in the second half of the season. Or is this gonna be your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn basketball? Um, and so I think that's also gonna be a big telltale sign to see like what what is this offense gonna look like? You know, you know, are they gonna catch a rhythm to, you know, climb up in the Western Conference or are they gonna dramatically fall trying to like catch a rhythm and play off one another, so to speak? You just said something that's gonna now make me root for them. And it was very simple. By you saying Jason Kidd, I forgot that he was their coach. So what had happened was they shipped Steve Nash out, brought Jason Kidd in, and Dirk won a championship. And so now now I'm looking at it again. I'm like, that that actually makes sense now. Now that you think about With Jason it, like, Terry in the backcourt. I can see Jason Kidd talking to Mark Cuban like, you know who brought me in for Dirk? 